Now we go to the final instalment of our series, Virtual Revolution. And Dr. Alex Krotowski examines the way the internet may be changing the way we use our brains. Watch out for a unique experiment next. It's been 20 years since the World Wide Web was created, and every aspect of our lives has been touched by this digital revolution. Tim Berners-Lee is someone who invented something of unbelievable power. I think the web has humanity connected. Human civilization as a whole is now witnessing the connection of people everywhere on Earth through this web. But what are the consequences of this extraordinary new access to information and people? Caught up in the instant connections of the web, few of us pause to wonder what it's doing to us. What is the effect on our relationships? Is the web even changing how we think? Whether we realize it or not, through the web, we are all participating in an extraordinary and unprecedented experiment for humankind the outcome of which is far from certain. The great fear is that this revolution is making our senses and imagination dependent on screens, shifting us from the real world to the virtual. It's a world that has no consequences. It's a world dominated by senses. So why do you need cognition? Why do you need meaning? Why do you need metaphor? Is it going to bring us a different, better life, or is it going to bring us a different style of communication? That's, you know, I ask that question, I don't have the answer. We worry that our kids are being sucked into a superficial online culture. Are they, for better or for worse, evolving from homo sapiens into some sort of homo interneticus? A lot of this is a kind of middle-aged, middle-class panic about the web. They're panicked by the future. They're panicked by what they think children are doing. I'm going to plunge into the fear and the hype to find out whether the web really is trivializing our relationships and rotting our brains. At its heart, this is about what makes us us and whether the web distorts or enriches our very humanity.